by coaching victories. And he's done a terrific job here at San Jose. Three wins in his first season, nine last year, and three and three here in year three. Dominique Hunsucker runs back the kickoff. And Absolutely, he's bigger than me. Hopefully he's bigger than me. So Fralis might have been over the line of scrimmage when he flipped that ahead. For now it's going to stand for about through the air. They're each in the bottom six in the country in rush offense. So Fralis, big strong athlete, gets collared. That would have been a penalty in the NFL, but not here in college football. Hawaii as far as defending people. In the empty backfield, and Tafralis throws in the coverage, it's picked off, ricocheted off his intended receiver, and was intercepted by Adam Leonard, who's run two interceptions back for touchdowns this season, and he brought that one all the way back to the 35-yard line of the Spartan. The Warriors have returned four interceptions for touchdowns this year, two of those by Leonard, he was thinking about doing it again. Quick pass and a catch on the far sideline to Jason River. Spartan showing blitz, and they come after Brennan. He's hard to get to as he gets rid of it very quickly. And he has Ryan Grice Mullen for a first down. Only Texas Tech has been more prolific with the passing attack this year than Hawaii's 451 per game. Brennan all day to throw with that three-quarter delivery on target for a first down. On third and 12, they convert as the play goes to Devon Bess at the sixth. Second and goal from the six. Brennan four out of six to start the game. He's also a very good runner. They run the option for a touchdown. Pitched it. The Kiatoa Polaris, the true freshman. And a rare run mixed in. Six. Rick Favre can't lose confidence in him. Too much ability. Five receivers again, empty backfield, and a completion. Kyle Flynn hangs on this time. He had the ball ricochet off his hands for the interception. It's about winning culture and winning attitude and, and getting over that hump. It's more than just physical ability. On a little bubble screen on third down and 15. And Jurovich won't get anywhere near the first down marker. Got it to the 48-yard line of the Spartans. Run after catch, man. Once he gets his ball in his hand, he's gone. Brennan's missed on his last four passes. The Spartans have defended him well. He's on target here for a big gainer. Ryan Grice Mullen all the way across midfield. This is where Heisman Trophy candidates, leaders, make plays. Third and eight. Hostile territory. Brennan forced to step up, and now he takes off. And he's a little bit short of the first down. It will depend on the mark. The official on the far sideline slipped down. So it'll be interesting to see if he lost a half minutes into the game. It's six out of ten this year on fourth down. Option look from Brennan. He has the first down. Bolts a solid 6'3", about 201 pounds. Defense running, shooting a lot of wide splits. They have talented offensive line to give them a lot of nice throwing lanes to work through. And good touch on that one, but just a stride too long for Devon Bess, who runs a 4 4 40. Goal range for Kelly, who has a strong leg, but they're going to go for it in fourth and five, which is a virtual short yardage situation in this offense. Brennan had trouble with the shotgun snap, and they'll turn it over on downs as the pitch hit the ground off the hands of Polaris. By him, and Elaminian comes in for the cleanup. Third down and 11 for Tefralis and the Spartans failing 7 to nothing here in the first quarter. Good throw, a good catch by Jacob French in the first down to the 50-yard line on a game of 14. An opportunity to go get at him. Third down and three. Tefralis flips it forward, improvising for a first down. Jamal Beachman again. The native son Adam Tefralis at the helm on the move, but facing a third down and four from the 31 at Hawaii, and the run straight ahead gets nothing. James T. Kellier, the running back, was taken over as the place kicker. They've had field goal difficulties. And Jared Strubeck, and Johnson is not an improvement. Strubeck given the hook. 
When he missed his last six field goal attempts, John... The result is you're still going to get the ball, the result at the same time, and with a new kicker. Brennan comes out throwing it a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Andrew Ryan brings it back to the 40-yard line. Play man-to-man, -man, which allows defensive coordinator Dave Phipp to do a lot of different things. Whoops. Corrales had the ball slip out of his hand and got on it. Back at the 50-yard line. Mike rains regularly in Hawaii. Sometimes you get that light rain, so they're used to practicing in it, playing in it. And San Jose State practices in the mornings here when it can be cold and damp as well in the South Bay. About an hour. Soggy conditions, it'll be disrupted. Brennan on the money to Jason Rivers, first down to the 40-yard line. Well, even under duress, he put Val Jones, referred to Colt Brennan's freaky accuracy. It hasn't been pinpoint tonight, but he's had a couple of drops and some receivers slipping. Nothing wrong with that, throw another. With their hips from that short release, and we talked in the open about how quick their release, and the examples I used was Marino. Brian Bryce Mullen. Quick toss and the catch. Best, the stiff arm. Extends the ball and did he get the first down as he went back. Another first down, Devon Best. Down near the 10 yard line, pulled down by. Like he did. Second and goal, lost back to the 16 yard line. Low snap. Brennan throws toward the back of the end zone, it's caught! Went right through the hands of Dwight Lowry, it seemed, from here, and into the arms of Ryan Grice Mullen. Well, the crowd started to cheer. Everybody on our side of the stadium had an angle that made it appear that... has great hands and rarely drops an interception. He said in two years he's seen him drop one ball. One of the reasons he had nine interceptions, he has outstanding hands. Absolutely, there's no question in my mind about it. Adam Tafralis dumps it off short. They pick up the first down. It's a little Beachman. Hey, girl, Brandy. On, <laughs> wow, that's pressure. Tafralis, this pass incomplete. Brian Elledge had a ricochet off him, and then it was caught on the ricochet. So <laughs> there's the first day. Might have turned a new leaf. Third and long. They're going for the deep ball. A lot of hand fighting, and it's intercepted. Intended for David Richmond and Myron Newberry picked it off. Second interception of the night. And he's got a great get off on the ball, which helps. Brennan out of the end zone and a great diving catch by Jason Rivers. On third down and 14. You see that big smile. I really enjoyed speaking with Devon Best yesterday. What a great opportunity he has taken advantage of. At Hawaii, then right on cue, he has the first down catch as they convert another third. Time. Third down and four. Warriors from their own 45, and this time they do not convert on third down. The pass intended for Jason. Dwight Lowry waiting for the blocks to set up. And that patience is rewarded. He will go. No flags on the field. Touchdown, San Jose State, 84 yards. Jumped underneath, and the rest, as they say, is his story. The play loud score for the Spartans. Cole Brennan, 19 out of 36 in the first half for 227. A touchdown, an interception. That one's intercepted, and they will tie the game. It's Dwight Lowry again. A punt return for a touchdown. Now an interception return for a score. Twenty-three yards on last season. And the extra point by Will Johnson ties the game. It's on his technique, and he's become more physical. That's what he's worked on, and he's shown it tonight. 
And a man wide open and a nice over-the-shoulder catch. Devon Best gets Hawaii in the San Jose State Territory. Not, but I'll tell you what, he came out and he made a confident throw right there over the corner and in between the safety and a cover two look. Bumps it off inside. The Aloha Polaris, the freshman. After a couple of returns for touchdowns by Dwight Lowry. Less than a minute played here in the third quarter. Brennan toward the end zone. It is set again. Third pick of the night. Second by Andrew Ryan. The Aloha Polaris tackled him across the boundary at the 17-yard line. Well, this is turning into an offense. A good run after catch guy. The Travis looks the other way down the seam and behind his receiver who is open. Looking for Jalal Beachman. Village coach, as we mentioned, you got a chance to mold young men, and June has been molding Colt into a fine young man. Third down and five. The crowd's alive, but quieted on the catch. Bess. Third and three. Brennan with all day, and now he's going to run it. He slid short of the yellow line. You wonder if he slipped a little bit. But it almost... And they snuck it, Sean. And Brennan keeps, and if he got it, it wasn't by very much. Defense saying they have held. And the officials are running right along that yellow line. They spot it on that yellow line. It'll be a first down in all likelihood. It isn't always 100% accurate, but it's about as close as it can be. Again, a lot depends on whether it's the the right foot or the left foot spot. Yeah, they didn't give him a great scrimmage. They didn't get it. San Jose State takes over on downs. programs have seen an upsurge in attendance on a percentage basis in the last couple of years with the success of the Spartans and one of their big plays of the night right there, a bullet. That was the biggest play of the night for the offense for San Jose State. The crowd is one on one and bodies fly, they slipped and fell, there is a flag. David Richmond and Gerard Lewis got tangled. Lewis and Britt tied at 14, six minutes to go, third quarter, third and four. To Perales using his powerful frame, a run for a first down. He's in the country with the title of coordinator or co-coordinator. He was the quarterback here just a few years ago. He and Tafralis were teammates toward the end zone, caught, touchdown, San Jose State, Kevin Jurovich. These extra points are important, and they have not been a gimme for San Jose State this year. They've had trouble in the kicking game. This is their backup kicker, and Will Johnson sends it right through the middle. That's to keep uh, Boston College undefeated. Uh, you know, Andre Woodson, if he could somehow beat LSU. I think Brian Brown's out of it there. If Chase Daniel can pull an upset, he's a very impressive quarterback, Harold. On third down and two, Brennan had a lot of time, lost it a bit too far for Rivers. Off his hands and incomplete. John Deserving. I just, I'm, I'm conservative about him right now. Jacob French, a five-yard reception on first down, and Tafralis throws for a first down. Ball be marked to the 33-yard line. Close ball game, so I want to see how they handle Missouri, and the old Oklahoma teams would have crushed a team like this on their home field, so I'm very curious to see them up close. Tafralis the bomb, and it goes all the way. Touchdown, Kevin Jarevich. He ran away from Myron Newberry, 68 yards. And a two-touchdown lead now for the San Jose State Spartans. Wow. Well, we wondered how good Hawaii was based on the schedule, but the same is true of San Jose State. In four years, and, and, uh, and look forward to it. Thanks for joining you guys, and I appreciate the time.
Thank you, Chris. We'll look forward to game day tomorrow. It's Chris Fowler joining us from Northern Oklahoma. How about that run after the catch? Ryan Grice Mullen across midfield, bouncing after one would-be tackler. After go out of the window here tonight. For them, Brennan. Grace Mullen, 10th catch of the night. Good for 13 more. He's up to 130 yards receiving. Described. And that's what it is, Sean. I guarantee you. We'll watch the film. The guys are slipping and sliding all over the place. Second and 10. Brennan going for the same man, same spot. Touchdown, Hawaii. C.J. Hawthorne open again, and this time Brennan found him in the back of the end zone. This is what I love about Cole Brennan. Again, he's struggling. Things aren't going right. He's seeing maybe the dream die, but he's not going to die. Right here again, shuffling, finding the throwing lane, and this time letting the ball drop into the hands of C.J. Hawthorne, who makes the catch for him. One out of 56, and Dan Kelly remains perfect in PATs this year. The good evaluator, good projector, when a player develops skills and take advantage of whatever physical abilities has to become a better football player. He's done that well everywhere he's been as a coach. Good adjustment to that throw behind Richmond to take it to the in the whack. And they trail by a touchdown as we go to the fourth quarter. San Jose on first and ten. It's an eight-yard run from Jacob Frick. Now a third down and two, and a blitz, and it's dumped off, and this is promising. Kelly out of the backfield to the 20-yard line. They'll mark him down to the 19. It really caused this offense a lot of problems, but looks like particularly this offensive line starting to gel. They're finding a rhythm offensively. French tripped up in the secondary. Obviously, any score here would be big, but they're thinking about a touchdown, and they're going to get it. James T. Calvert in the end zone from eight yards out, and it's a two-score lead again for San Jose State. Well, Will Johnson has taken over and been solid as their starting place picker tonight. Understandably so. This team down by two touchdowns. He also coaches the special teams, which have been the best kickoff return out there in the country. They could use a big one here for Malcolm Lane. And the kicker had to come over to help Chuck. The big thing is, these guys came in, didn't feel sorry for themselves, and he wanted them to show up with a smile on their face because they said, after the way we played, I hope those guys couldn't sleep. I don't know how they could sleep with the way we've been playing. I know, Spielman, you've probably been through nights. Big third and 15. Down by two touchdowns, 11 and a half to go. And an inside handoff to Polaris that did not fool the Spartans. Justin Cole, the defensive end. Day. San Jose State defend the sticks. Make sure that ball's not over your head. We watch June Jones on the timeout. Gesture in the Colt Brennan like with some sort of square in over the middle. And it's incomplete. And that's what it was. Cutting across the middle, Ryan Grice Mullen, but he couldn't come up with it. This is the ball drive. And man's putting in some miles. <laughs> And a loss on this handoff. The Hawaii defense needed a stop, and they got it. Adam Leonard again with great on your football. Colt Brennan. Oh, boy, he just threw that up for grabs, and it's intercepted. Fourth time tonight he's been intercepted. This one by Christopher Owens. You wonder if that was a miscommunication. As long as he has, comes in with confidence in every game he coaches. Look out for Fallis in the grasp of Adam Leonard and a late flag thrown. You wonder if it's a roughing the passer. Dave Campbell with the NLCS call. Guys. All right, Cole Brennan on target. Jason Rivers first down to the San Jose State 40-yard line. Not a lot of anything again. Over five and a half to go. Highest scoring team in the country with the ball. Brennan under duress and sacked by Justin Willis. They stay. Devon 
on Bess. Hit hard by Owens with Lowry running. After Harris walked off the field under his own power. Third down and four, Hawaii. They convert. Devon Bess to the 12-yard line. Dwight Lowry dragged him down. Brennan has a man open, and it is caught. Wow, what a catch by Bess. Well, June Jones told us that Bess has made some of the most amazing catches he's ever seen. That should have been an easy one because he was wide open, but the use took little time off the clock. And here on defense, they really helped the Hawaii drive with two personal foul penalties for them in the running game. Or at least take a shot on the run. A full back up the middle, and it's effective. Callier gets five. Established the run all year. They haven't been able to do it. Can they do it now with one of the big wins in recent school history? On the line, Callier not only couldn't run it, he fumbled, and Adam Leonard has it at the 45-yard line. Later. In their seventh game of the year. What a time to have it happen with just under three minutes to go on the verge of a huge upset. And now gashing them on the run, Polaris. Nearly 10. Great shape as quickly as they ordinarily move. Brennan for the sideline, out of bounds with nine more. Jason Rivers. Huge play. And second and one, back to third and a long five. Brennan zips one, first down to the 20-yard line. Block will stop to move the chains. Ryan, third down and four. Obviously four down territory here. Four-man rush. Brennan throws, first down. Will it be more? Yes, it will, but not a touchdown. It goes to the two, C.J. Hawthorne. Got a turnover. Trying to tie it now. They led by 14 early. Brennan keeps it. Touchdown, Hawaii. An extra point from the tie with 31 seconds to go. Well, they need the extra point from Kelly, who's been perfect this year in PATs, and that one is perfectly right down the middle. They're tired of chasing him. He's got to be a little wiped out. Trying to set his feet all night on this sloppy turf. Short of a first down by a couple of yards. The catch. Three receivers to Brennan's left. He throws in that direction to Devon Bess. And a nice tackle in the open field by Christopher Owens. And Chris and Bryce Mullen. 11 catches, 129 yards receiving for Jason Rivers. And Hawthorne is 66 yards receiving and a touchdown. And Rivers adds to his total with his 12th catch of the night. Eight-yard touchdown. Threw it away from both Lowry and Owens. Nice. Adam to Fralis. 27 out of 46 for 302 yards. His fourth straight game of 300 yards passing. In trouble and sack for a four-yard loss. Third sack of the night for Hawaii. Fralis toward the end zone, and it is intercepted, ball game over. Myron Newbay seals the dramatic come from behind win for Hawaii. And the dreams are all still alive for the Warriors.